Right, Paul, this is the first page uh, with a radar, live radar, as you can see moving around uh, the planes that I'm picking up. It's sat in my, the aerials in my bedroom window, Paul, so my bedroom window looks this way. It looks straight down here. So it's doing really well to pick up this stuff here. I'm not quite sure whether it has to be line of sight or it can go through walls and that, but uh, my aerial is up in my bedroom window, so it gives you a, a radar. It knows from the details that you put in how far out um, it will search. Anyway, this is a list of flights. Obviously, uh, it's got all your details up here. You'll know more about this than me. Uh, but these are the flights that I am tracking at the moment. And because I live in the centre of the UK, Paul, this is the flight corridor up for America. The planes take off from London, they go straight over the top of us, up to Lockerbie, and then veer off and go over to Canada that way. So uh, where we live in the middle of the centre of the UK is uh, extremely busy, very busy. Now, that's your first page here. And if I go to the second page at the top, I'll just get this, uh, Let's go right back to the very beginning. Right, this is the main part of the screen up here. It tells you uh, I've been uh, logged in for a couple of days. Uh, down here, it tells you that your system is running, your flight aware is running, and your uh, MLAT uh, is running. Also, you'll know all of I read up on about that MLAT poll and that is quite interesting how that works that system but then what you get is all of these graphs uh, tells you aircraft reported sites uh, hourly collection rates uh, tells you roughly on the radar where you're hearing the information so you can obviously see that my radar is more sensitive in the south than it is in the north what I'm going to do, Paul, is put a full-blown aerial up on the roof. It tells you uh, ha, uh, that's up to the 50-mile radius, 100-mile radius, blah, 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 going out that way. Now, first night I got it working, at 1,544 pings. Yesterday, on Christmas Day, 20,054, and now it's only... Uh, 10 15 in the morning and I'm up to 17,000 already move down a bit more yesterday a total of 564 trackings uh, airport reported and already today I'm up to 485 and then uh, 30 day track rate can you give a, a rating of who's had the best uh, tracking results on there, a bit further down. At the moment, I've got one aeroplane that is using my system for tracking. So that is an RAW flight. So if I put my mouse on it and click on it, you'll get a report. British Airways uh, arrived 30 minutes ago. It's Edinburgh, so it was a London Tells the Paul, look at the detail it tells you about this. Yeah, man, look, it shows you it was an internal flight, Edinburgh to uh, London, Heathrow. That tells you all the speed up here. You're going to love this. You need to get this going, Paul. You really do. Uh, let's go back to this again. Oh, I've gone off the page now, Paul. So let's uh, let's go back to it again very very comprehensive for people like yourself Paul you are going to be right into this program uh, let's go back down to where we were right we're down here and then uh, at the moment like I'm um, this is um, nearby sites latest screen so look at all the screens screen after screen after screen of information absolutely so comprehensive but it's just the fact that you can go to any of these uh, details and like you touch on this I'm just putting the mouse on that little flight over there it tells you up in the top corner all about it and if we click on
Look at it, it tells you all about it. It's going to Charles de Gord in France, that's, that's North France, that is. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Something you definitely need to be going. Look, it's uh, set off from there. That's in America. Went over to Charles de Gord and it's now going that way again. Anyway, program for you to get going. RTL SDL dongle, cost you about 15 Canadian dollars. Plug it into Raspberry Pi, job done Paul.